Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this week's knitting tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to knit this gorgeous stitch. Uh, in 2000, uh, 2013, in, uh, when I was in Penticton, BC, I was doing the local farmer's market there and I saw this lady wearing this pattern. She was wearing a cardigan, a green cardigan. I didn't have my camera, but I put that in my memory how it looked like so I have knit this hat it's a wool I used a lace yarn and I felted it this is how it looks like and I was wearing a, this hat at the market and I only have this picture unfortunately and uh, when I was wearing this hat someone fell in love with it and she bought it with me she bought she just took it from my head and she says I want this hat so uh, this is the only picture that I have and if you wish, I can put a, I can do a tutorial on how to knit this hat. I just knitted it, and it just turned out great. So this is felted, just to, just to let you know. And this is how it looks like. So when I search it up, I don't know what this pattern is called. So I'm just going to show you. I don't know what it is called, but uh, I'm going to call this the crocodile skin. It's not the crocodile stitch, like the crochet one. And when you when you search it up, you can see this uh, stitch all over the place. So people uh, they use it on mermaids uh, when they're knitting the mermaid. I'm assuming this is hand knitted. I don't know if there's a pattern for this because it looks like hand knitted when you look uh, close by. Uh, it looks like hand knitted so you can see how it looks like it's on two sides. So if you want to make it knit a blanket you can um, use the both sides. One side is flat, as you can see, and this flat, uh, this side is uh, looking 3D look. So for today, I will be showing you how to knit this stitch. And like I said, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to knit that hat, I always wanted to knit one for myself, but unfortunately, never had the time with my custom orders. I get to commissioned to pay, uh, <clears throat> they pay me to knit for them. Usually I'm working on uh, uh, bridal shrug. So I just wanted to show you, I, uh, I made the 500. Yeah, today I made my 500 sales since 2009. So I am celebrating that. And just wanted to show you that I am just jumping up and down. And here you can see my 500, uh, 500 sales. If you want to go to ufer, U-F-E-R dot Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com, you can check my shop. And I recently opened another shop. It's called uh, Angora Valera dot Etsy dot com. So if you want to go and check that one, you are welcome to go and check that one. This is only for bridles that I opened this shop. And here I have a total of uh, 44 sales up to now, today. And we'll see what's going to happen. And by the way, Happy New Year! <laughs> this is my uh, first tutorial that I will be making on how to knit the crocodile skin. I'm going to call this the crocodile skin. And then we will go from there. Sorry about that. And here is the, I just took a picture. So if you want to screenshot that, you, you can welcome to do that. This is how I uh, wrote down how to knit this uh, stitch. And the first row, and it, you go, and then the second row, and then the third row. It's like this. Uh, I don't have time. I wish I had time to write patterns. People do ask me about it, but I never have the time. So uh, let's get started. And uh, today's tutorial, I'll be using a cotton yarn just to show you how to uh, knit this stitch. And we're going to be working on a total of 19 rows to create this stitch. And it's been knit two sides to create this stitch. So we're going to be working on uh, two sides. I'm just using my uh, uh, leftover yarn that I had. And then. Uh, We'll go from there. So let's get started. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to be casting on a total of 40 stitches. Just cast on as you would regularly cast on, and I'm using cotton yarn. I'm just going to use this as a dishcloth, so you can use any yarn you wish. So cast on a total of stitches, and I'll meet you. Okay, so I have cast on a total of 40 stitches, and I have just a little bit yarn here. So I'm going to tighten this just to secure it, just in case. Who knows, right? Okay, tightly. And what we're going to do is we're going to be knitting the first row. So when we cast on, this is the right side of the work because the yarn is here. Gives you a way to understand which one is right side, which one is wrong side. And this is the wrong side of the work. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit one row just to create that nice edge. And uh, knit yarn on the back. Just a rip. Yeah, I tightened it. Now it's hard to knit this. Okay, I'm just going to slide this. not going to knit this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think I tightened it very hard. Now it's hard to knit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very tight. Sorry. So what you're going to do is you're just going to knit this row, yarn on the back all the way to the end, and I'll meet you at the end to start the, the pattern. I have knit the first row. This is the front of the work, and this is the back. So we're going to start the stitch. And what you need to do is, I'm not going to be knitting the first stitches, so I'm just going to slide it just like this. And what we're going to do is, I uh, made a diagram here. I don't know if you can see it. And this is the first row. I have to work on it. It's just a diagram that I made myself. Just my draft, my so this is the first row. So I just slide the first uh, stitch and I'm going to knit yarn over. What I'll do is I will um, put a copy. This is the first page and this is the second page. So we're going to be working total of 19 rows to create this uh, stitch. And uh, so let's get started. If you want to screenshot it, you can screenshot it here. There's a total of 10 rows here. Just to give you an idea. And here's the second page. You want to screenshot it. This will help you a bit. But I'm going to go over it, so uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, I haven't wrote the pattern. <laughs> uh, I should have, but I haven't. Okay, so the first row, what we're going to do is we're going to knit the first stitch is knit, yarn over, and I'm going to knit a total of seven stitches, yarn on the back. Just a regular knit. One, two, three, four. Top, top. Sorry about that. Our dog had an operation on her knee, so uh, I'm watching her every step she makes. <laughs> yeah, that's her uh, knee that she had an operation on. If you're just wondering. Okay, we found out, I thought it was her knee that popped up, but nope, it was uh, cancer, so they removed it. So this is her third week, and we're watching her every step, so sorry about this, I'm just going to go back. <laughs> Disruption, okay, so we're going to do seven knits, total of seven. After the yarn over, I'm going to recount this, so two, four. Five, six, seven. 
Okay, we're going to do two, knit to two together. Okay, so we're going to knit the two stitches together to do that from, from the front. Just try to knit it tightly from, from front. We're knitting these just like this. So it's going to slant towards your right side. And these stitches, we're going to knit these two together, slanting your left side. So one's going to face your right and one is going to face your left. And now we're going to do is just a knit total of seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do a yarn over, knit one, yarn over, so we did yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and we're going to do a total of again seven knits, seven stitches of knit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to do two knits to two two knit to two knits to together together so, okay i'm using small needles cuz i want to show it's uh, it's better to use uh small needles so this is slanting that way and this one you do when you knit two together from the back and pull it up it slants towards your left and we knit a total of seven stitches again one two three four five six Seven yarn over and knit one. Okay, I just I don't know if I mentioned this, but you need fourteen multiple of fourteen to create the stitch. I forgot if I mentioned it earlier, but if I didn't, here you go. So what we're doing, we're on the second row and we're on the back of our uh, the wrong side of the work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be slipping this. So this is as uh, I'm sorry. We're slipping the stitch. If you want to knit, you are welcome to knit it. If not, just slip it and knit the following stitch. And we're going to do a yarn over yarn over but we're doing purl so the yarn is going to be on the front so we're going to be doing we're going to knitting yarn from the front we're going to knit total of uh, six stitches oh my cable is uh, a yeah, total of six stitches yarn on the front so we did yarn over one two Three, four, five, six. We're going to knit two together, and I'm going to show you a trick to do this. So please watch carefully. Okay, we're going to knit the two stitches together, yarn on the front, and to do that, I'm just checking if my uh, stitches they look okay. Just to show you, so I'm just going to fix this. The other one looks okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come from here from the back and I'm just going to grab these two stitches. You don't have to do it, but I want to, to, to have it a nice look from the back. Okay, so just go between those two stitches and grab it and knit those two together. Okay, just to show you. See how it's slanting towards your uh, left side from the back? That's all to it. And then we just knit these two together. Just a regular knit two from the front. It's, it's just a tr small trick. I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so we're done this. And what we're going to do is we're going to be knitting another, uh, I believe it was six, six stitches. Just going to count from the chart. I forget to. Yeah, so yarn from the front. So just knit one, two, three, four, five, six. going to do is we're going to do a yarn over just double check two four six yarn over we're going to knit the three stitches yarn from the front And do another yarn over. And we're going to do another six stitches. Two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to knit two together again, what we did. So I'm just going to check if my um, stitches look okay. So I'm going to turn this, fix this. This one looks okay, but let's let's uh, fix this facing the other way, just to give it a nice uh, tuck here. When we knit these two together, so it would to look would be facing just like this. See how it looks like. And when you look at from the back, it's slanting towards this. And then we're just going to knit these two together. Just like that. Just wanted to show you how it looks like so far. See? One is facing left, right. One is facing left. So we're going to knit again another uh, six stitches. Uh, so yarn on the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, yarn over and knit the remaining three stitches just like this. Okay, so we're on the Wrong, sort, wrong side of the work, the third row, and this is how it looks like so far. It's becoming. So we're going to knit three stitches. Yarn on the back, and I'm just going to skip this one. So, knit one, two, three, yarn over and we're going to knit a total of five stitches so one two three four 
five. The needles that I'm using, these are my old fashioned ones that I bought probably from Walmart. I had Addy needles and uh, the cable just came off. So I uh, shared this with my uh, group that I have on Facebook. I just wanted to share you before. So this is like the needle just came off from the where you connect the wire, where the wire is connected. I paid a lot of money for these needles. Just popped up from here. So what they said is, just message where you bought it from and then they will uh, send you a new one. You know, I paid $15.95. And then, well, she says, I, long, I no longer sell these, so you need to contact distributor. So I contacted them. They said they said message your local yarn shop. They will give you a new one. Which they never replied back. Yeah. I was so disappointed. Well, waste of money. What can you do? Just wanted to share you that so they don't replace it no matter where you buy it from. Let's just give you an excuse. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we did a yarn over two, four, five. I knitted five, so we're going to knit two together. Remember how I showed you? Just like this. Oops, did it wrong. See, we have to be very careful with this. Sometimes I forget what I'm doing. How did I do it? I think it was this way. Yeah, it's supposed to be slanting this way. And this one is from the back. So it's supposed to slant towards your left. Okay, just like this. So we're done this and now we're going to knit another uh, five stitches. One, two, Three, four, five, oopsie, yarn over, yarn over, another five, five knits, one, two, three, four, five, another yarn over, <laughs> another, f oops, I lost a stitch, yeah, another five stitches, knit, yarn on the back, two, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do knit two together. Just like this. Knit two to together again. Uh oh, this one's taking its time. Here we go. Then we're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five, yarn over, and then knit the remaining three stitches. Yeah, we finished the third row. Now we're on the fourth row. Okay, it's becoming, see? <laughs> okay, for the fourth, what we're going to do is... We're going to knit four stitches. Oh, yarn on the front. And I think I'm tangled here. So one. Two. 
three, four, yarn over just like this, knit another four stitches. Then we're going to knit two together. Okay, I'm just going to move these to fix, fix how it looks like so it will face towards this way. Just to, to give that nice, uh, see, see how it looks? To give that nice face here. Even this one looks twisted. Hmm. Well. And then just go from the back. From here between. Just like this. And then knit those two together. Uh oh. Just like this. Think about the end result <laughs> when you're having trouble. Here we go. Oh, it didn't work out. Must be a trick to do this. It's kind of tough, but that's the trick to give that nice knit two together look. Yes, finally. Okay, and this is how it looks like. See? So it's supposed to be going like this. Okay, I know it's tough, but the end results is fantastic. Just love this stitch. Then you knit these two together. Just like this. And then you knit another five stitches. Oh, I'm sorry, was it just going to recount this? Okay, I'm supposed to be knitting a total of four stitches. So three, four, yarn over, knit three stitches. So one, yarn on the front. Two, I'm sorry, seven stitches, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's recount this. So two, four, six, seven, yarn over, four stitches, one, two, three, four, and knit two together. So we're going to change how the stitches are supposed to be. Oh, well, this one was correct. I, uh, this way. Try to fix. Facing towards your left side. And then grab it from the back, just like this, and knit two together. Okay, done. This is way better. <laughs> yeah, and then knit these two together, just the way you knit two together. And then we're going to knit four stitches, yarn on the front. So one, two, three, four, yarn over, and 
and knit the remaining uh, two, two, four, and knit the remaining stitches that you have. Should be five. Just like this. Okay, so we're done the fourth row. Now we're going to be working on the fifth row. And this is this is the this is how it looks like. See? See how it looks nice when you twist those stitches, turn around? The end result is fantastic and it gives that nice look. It this is the back of the well, you can use the two sides, but we're aiming, trying to create that nice crocodile skin look. So the fifth row. So we're going to knit yarn on the back and we're going to knit a total of five stitches. So one, I count that one, two, three, four, five, yarn over. I'm going to knit three stitches, two, one, two, three, and then we're going to knit, uh, I think I did something wrong, let's see what we did something wrong here, forgot to do the, you know, I did the yarn over, okay, I'm just going to recount this, okay, I figured out, I counted the first stitch two, and then knit five stitches. That's why we have an extra. We don't have an extra stitch, but it's this the edge. I counted and then do a yarn over. So, so six stitches, yarn over, three stitches, knit three stitches. One, two, three, and then knit these two together from left to right, from the front, from the back. Grab the yarn, two stitches. Just like this, and this is how it looks like. And this is a, from the back, just knit these two together. So it will slant that way. And then we're going to knit three stitches. Two, three, yarn over. And now we're going to knit a total of uh, eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and while I was knitting I forgot to show you uh, one of my, uh, oh I hope I have it here, I put it on my desktop, it was a baby cardigan. I'll show it later. I'll show it. Okay, I found the picture <laughs> that I saved it on my desktop, and here it is. Isn't this, isn't this gorgeous? As you can see, they knit it with small. Well, it, I, I'm assuming this is machine made, so it's been knit with uh, very lace yarn. From the pom poms, you can see how it's yeah. This is definitely machine but this is the pattern that I saw uh, in 2013 when I was uh, selling my handmade knit and crocheted items at the farmers market and I saw this uh, stitch on a lady she was wearing a green cardigan think about it wouldn't this look lovely so I'm definitely one day I'm gonna knit one for myself so I just wanted to show you this picture how it looks it's just gorgeous. If you want to make a, if you want me to make a tutorial on how to knit this cardigan, this baby cardigan, please put your comments below and I can make a tutorial. Why not? <laughs> Let's go back to our knitting. So knit eight stitches. Yarn over. Knit three stitches. One, two. And then we're going to knit these two together, these two bad boys here, <laughs> just like this. And then knit these two together. 
just like this. And this is how it looks like. Then we're going to knit three. Just three stitches. One, two, three. Yarn over and knit the remaining five. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to be working on our six, six, and this is how it looks like. Okay, so just take a nice deep breath. So for the sixth row, we're going to knit yarn on the front, we're going to knit six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to do a yarn over. We're going to knit two stitches, one, two, and then we're going to knit those two stitches together, but we need to change how they look like. So just to show you, we're moving it to this needle, and we're going to put it back, to facing it towards your right side, just like this. Split the yarn, great. Here we go. And then put this back, changing how it looks like. And then what we're going to do is, we're just going to go from back between those two stitches, just like that, and then knit two together. It's tricky. Then we're going to knit these two together, yarn on the front, <clears throat> and then we're going to knit two stitches, yarn on the front, we're going to do a yarn over, and then we're going to knit a total of eight stitches, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're going to do a yarn over, we're going to knit three stitches, two, three, just like this, and then we're going to knit the two stitches as we done. pretty tough. So we're going to change the way we're facing. Then we're going to grab it from the back just like this. If you don't know how to do it by now you would have learned <laughs> how to knit two together that way and knit these two together. Okay, what did, did I did something wrong? It looks like I did something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I did further. I'm just going to recount these stitches and I'll come back. They're supposed to be something wrong. I'll be right back. I found where I made a mistake. See, you have to be careful when you're counting. So I did these knit two together and I was supposed to be knitting three stitches, but I only knit three stitches and I did a yarn over here. So we're missing a stitch there. So I'm just going to go back. It happens. So not to worry. It's easy to fix. I noticed with knitting this cotton yarn, it's getting very tight. So I would recommend something not cotton. <laughs> Maybe blend of cotton would work. 
Yeah, the, it's getting tighter and I'm using smaller needles just to demonstrate this. So unravel all the way where I made the mistake. I'm not editing this part just to show you people do make mistakes so we're all human. Okay, so where was I? See here, I'm supposed to be through, so I'm going to come back and I'll meet you back there. Okay, sorry about that. So I went back and I did two, so I'm going to knit this and then I'm going to yarn over. So I missed a stitch there, so do a yarn over and then I'm supposed to be knitting total of uh, was it eight stitches? I think looking at my diagram here. Or if you don't want to count, you know what, just skip the counting. Just knit these stitches and then come all the way where we did a yarn over and then you will get the drill. I hate counting. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry, it's supposed to be 11. <laughs> 10, and then, okay, I don't know what happened here. It looks like you knit two together, yeah. And knit here. Okay, so we're going to do a yarn over here and I don't looks like I just slipped this stitch to that and I'm gonna fix that just like this okay so I'm gonna do a knit that one I'm gonna do a yarn over just gonna fix these stitches looks like this one the yarn kind of so I'm just fixing these stitches towards and then we're doing a yarn over and then I'm going to knit two knit two stitches and then I'm gonna I just what I did is well I'm supposed to fix it now I'm fixing it these stitches I'm going to knit these two together just like that one. Grab it from the back from left to right between the two stitches and then knit these two together just like this and knit these two together and just to be on the safe side I turn my work and I Look at it, how it slants. See how it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to be knitting. Knitting two stitches. One. Two. And we're going to do a yarn over. And knit this one. And then we're going to knit the remaining two, four, six stitches. Yarn on the front, just like that. Yeah, so we're done the sixth row. Now we're going to be knitting the seventh row. And to knit the seventh row, I just want to show how it looks like. This is how it looks up from here. And this is how it looks from the back. Oh. Now we're, tr we're making another V here, just to give that nice look. 
Yeah, definitely don't. I would not suggest knitting with 100% cotton. It, it, it doesn't give that effect. Blend of yarn would work. Okay, so we're going to be knitting seven knit stitches. Yarn on the back. So skip the first and knit the remaining six. And then we're going to do a yarn over. So two, three, four, six, seven, and do a yarn over. Knit one. I'm just going to pull my and then we're going to do um, seventh and two. Uh, we're going to be knitting two together. So it's going to be slanting towards your, our left side. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, here we're going to be knitting two, 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 two together. So two, two together. Well, if we do it this way, it's slanting towards our. So we have to do it from the back. Let me see. I made a mistake. I skipped from four to six. So two, four, six. Seven. I don't know why I did that when I'm counting. I lost track. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a yarn over. Knit one. Again, there's a mistake here. See? You can see it. Two, four, six, seven. See, I'm counting this one. I'm not supposed to be counting that one. When I count that one, that's how I make the mistake. It's supposed to be eight, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, this is the slip stitch that I do. And then I do a yarn over and then knit one. Here we go. Now we've fixed it. And I'll knit these two together. And then I knit these two together. Slanting the left side. This is how it looks like. So we're going to do a, do a knit one. And then do a yarn over and then we're going to total 13 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and do a yarn over, knit one. Okay. So we're going to knit these two together. And then we're going to knit these two together. Okay, just wanted to show you how it looks like so far. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to knit one. Knit one, yarn over, and knit the remaining stitches that we have. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, for the eighth row, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna so so far this is how it looks like and um, I don't know if I could, should continue because it's been over 30 minutes you just continue knitting and then we started here so for the eighth row we're just trying to finish this part let me just knit, show a couple of more rows and then we'll go from there and then for the eight row what we do is we just knit yarn on the front total of eight stitches so what we're doing is we're we're making another uh, so we're making one here and then we're increasing here and we're shortening this one here to create that diamond look and then shortening here and then increasing here that's all we're doing so it's just uh, until we get total of uh, 15 stitches and then we start to increase decrease that's all to it so two four five six seven So we're going to knit these two together so we're going to do a yarn over and then we're going to knit these two together to do that we're just going to change just change it this way don't forget to change it to create that gorgeous look Then you knit these two stitches together. It's tricky, but the end result. See how it looks like at the end? Nice. And then you knit these two together. And then uh, then you do a yarn over and then you knit total of uh, 15. 15 yarn on the front total of 15 stitches just like this until you come where the yarn over is and then I forgot to count We do a yarn over and then you switch these facing towards your uh, right side just like this then knit these two together just like that and knit these two together Then you do a yarn over and you need to knit the remaining eight stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth one is the last stitch. Okay, and this is all to it. So we're done. Well, we're done. Um, so what we're going to do is, for on the ninth row, we're repeating what we did here. Okay, and I'll show you that row as well. And then I, I did uh, post a picture of the front, the two pages from row one, and I'm sure that would help you. And then uh, I'll show you this last row. The, the ninth row is... Uh, oops my marker just fell <laughs> so what we're going to do is on the ninth row here we're gonna knit these two together 
just like that facing this way. Uh, I think it was supposed to be, yeah, facing that way. Just like, oh, it's hard to pick it up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, can you please recommend me a camera that will focus? Like, uh, it gets blurry when I'm moving my, uh, well, when, you're, when I'm knitting, because I'm bending over to tape this. And when I'm moving, it gets blurry. If you know any camera that focuses when you're moving around, <laughs> it's tough to tape it. Okay, so I knit two together. And then I'm going to knit a total of seven stitches, yarn on the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to knit these two together just like this. Then knit these two together. Okay, this is how it looks like so far. And then I'm gonna knit a total of uh, eight stitches. Uh, I think I made a mistake. Yeah, just one moment. Let me check this. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just found out what I did. So on the ninth row, I'm supposed to be knitting seven stitches, yarn over, and then knit two together. So I'm not doing two knits two like twice. So I'm just doing one knit two together. So that was my problem there. Okay, so after knitting seven stitches so two four six seven I was supposed to be doing a yarn over here just to do a yarn over and then knit these two together just like that and then make another yarn over and then knit total of uh, eight stitches so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I am supposed to be doing a knit two together, just like that, so uh, knit two together, so uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just going to grab it from here. Uh, I'm going to grab it from the front, so I'll try to. So it won't be noticeable. I think this would be better. Knit two together. And I'm going to knit seven stitches. So, so this way we're creating that, uh, this here we're creating here. We're starting to create that one. So this is the stitch when we start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over. And then we're gonna knit two together. Remember this fellow here? Looks like my yarn split here. Let me fix that. So, knit these two together. I'm going to do a yarn over another seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
seven and then I'm gonna knit this two together and then this is the last stitch okay so this is how it looks like from one side and this is how it looks like from the other side just to give you that look yeah and the tenth row is just to repeat what I have uh, done on the first row well no not the first row I think uh, I'm just trying to figure it out it's a lot of work but the end results is good and you have to focus on the stitch when you're knitting this you can't think about anything else or else you get lost and then um, so the tenth row is uh, it's going to be slip one, knit one, knit two together, then two, four, six, knit yarn over. And so just continue knitting like this. It's uh, just these extras that I wrote down, and I am sure it will help you out. If I, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very long tutorial, <laughs> it takes forever. But this is the main focus on how to knit the stitch. I just wanted to share you this tutorial and um, I'm thinking I'm going to be making more tutorials with this stitch. I love the way how it looks like. And uh, just wanted to share you and uh, happy crochet, happy knitting. And see you next week.